This is the CMCC4. I got it out of a group buy from TechT from Shopee. Kinda took a while for it to arrive, but it's here. Like always, everything is in the description below. The kit comes with the CM64 PCB, plate foam, FR4 plate, some PCB stabilizers and hardware, and then this frosted case. There's a huge reason for this case. I'll give you a clue. It's RGBs. The PCB is a hot swappable 60% layout with arrow keys. It's kinda similar to the DZ60, GH60 or the GK64. So you can change the case of the board if you want, to a tofu maybe. The PCB is mostly south facing but there are a couple of sockets that are north facing near the USB. But you don't have to worry about interference since it's on the top row. For the switches, I'm going for the full budget with the Garon Milk Yellows. These switches are the best linears for the price. If you guys want to start a build and wondering which switches to get, then these are the ones. Unless there are smoother switches with a cheaper price out there. The switches are looped and filmed. And these are the switches that I used for my first build actually. Check that out here. I found these cute keycaps on Shopee. I think it's a copy of eBBT Ivory. It's Dice Up BBT and Cherry Profile. And the only reason why I bought this is for the cute elephants. This is my favorite set of caps so far. <laughs> cute elephants. The stabilizers that come with the board are cherry style PCB mounted saps and boy is it bad. I mean it's not the best. I feel like you should get a better set of stabilizers if you have the budget. But for this, I'll stick with this budget and use what I got. I loot and tune these tabs with Crytox 12.5 grade zeros and Prometex. Which is a big mistake, I kind of overloop and made it mushy. But you live and you learn. <sighs> this is sad. I really need to change the tabs. When putting the switches into the PCB, make sure you support the sockets or place them on a flat surface so you can avoid tearing up the hot source sockets. And did I tell you that the PCB is VR compatible? Which is really cool. Okay, 
for the price of this kit, this is more than a great option for a first build or any build to be exact. All this for less than $50 is just amazing. And if you like RGBs, this kit is like galore. It's not perfect though, don't get me wrong. I don't like the cheap clear case that this kit comes with. Maybe cause I'm not a big fan of RGBs, that's my preference though. I can change it to any other case that's suitable for the GK61 or the DZ60 later in the future. A tofu maybe. And if you have extras in your pocket, get some better plate mounted stabs, it'll make the build even better. I wonder if the stabs would be good if I didn't overlook it. That's all for me, stay safe and see ya.